Roosevelt County, a school leader's vote to change the dress code policy in Orange County, where Confederate flags will be banned. The decision met with a standing ovation tonight. Our Michael Highland followed every step of the story in Orange County tonight with a reaction to that decision. Michael. This came as a surprise to the people who've been pushing for this ban for about a year now, but when students come back here, they won't be allowed to wear any clothes with the Confederate flag on them anymore. Many of us saw the violence in Charlottesville on TV or social media, but Heather Redding was there. At times, she saw images like this, people waving the Confederate flag. The weight of all the hate and all of these groups coming together and all of the violence, I came back and I thought, how could they allow this flag in the school? The Orange County School Board was due to vote on a change to its dress code policy Monday night, banning disruptive, indecent, and profane clothing. But Board Chair Stephen Halkiata surprised the crowd with specific additions to that policy. Ku Klux Klan. Nazi swastikas and the Confederate flag. It's what the Hate Free Schools Coalition demanded for months. Tina Partner was in Charlottesville this weekend, too. Of course, we're all elated that this has finally happened, but I really wish they had listened to the community members before this tragedy happened. I asked Halkiotis about the timing. Why did it take seeing what happened this weekend to take the vote tonight? Government works in a dinosaur-like way. It takes a long time. Halkiotis says training already started with principals on enforcing this. There'll be more of that following Monday's vote. I think no matter what, that's going to be difficult. Parents say there's still a lot of work to address broader issues surrounding race in schools. Part of the problem has been in the past that our school board was not aware of the, of the deep-seated problems that we have in our schools. They hope this fight has helped to change that. The superintendent says he'll work with principals on enforcing this as individual cases arise. Live in Orange County, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina. Michael, thank you.